Arika Johnson, just now, shared with public. Matrix, Rebirth. Scene 1, The Rippling Code. Green code cascades down the screen, and deep within, a subtle ripple disturbs the familiar flow. Echoes of voices begin to emerge, fragments of memories, whispers of lives trapped in the Matrix. Neo's voice whispering. The fight, it's not over. I am still here. Suddenly, the code distorts violently, creating a shockwave that pulses through the digital world, sending ripples across every corner of the Matrix. Scene 2. A New Recruit We see the underground city of Zion in the year 2205, rebuilt and thriving after years of peace with the machines. However, the tension is palpable as mysterious breaches in the Matrix threaten the fragile truce. Juno sits hunched over a workbench cluttered with old tech, parts of broken sentinels, and makeshift drones. She wipes her brow, annoyed by the intense heat radiating from the underground vents. A scavenged machine core flickers to life in her hands. Juno. Come on, work already. The device glitches unexpectedly, projecting a burst of green code into the air. Juno jumps back as the code swirls, forming the faint outline of a man in black, Neo. Neo, faintly. Find me. Before she can react, the message vanishes and the room glitches, flickering in and out of reality. Scene 3. Meeting the Resistance Juno, still reeling from the strange encounter, is summoned to meet with Zion's elite operatives. She steps into the command center, where Zaya, daughter of Morpheus, stands alongside Soren, son of Trinity. Zaya, you're the one who found the signal, right? This isn't a game, kid. Whatever you've stumbled on, it's real. And dangerous. Soren, smirking. I say we let her handle it. She seems resourceful. Juno, sarcastic. You know, I just fixed a toaster last week. Maybe I can save the world, too. Despite her sarcasm, Juno feels the weight of the situation pressing on her. Zaya isn't amused. Zaya, we're jacking into the Matrix. Whatever's going on, it's happening there. You're coming with us. Juno, nervously. Wait, what? Scene 4, Entering the Matrix. They plug into the Matrix and awaken in a bustling digital city, pristine and bustling with artificial life. It looks like the Matrix at peace, but there's something off too perfect. Juno. This place gives me the creeps. Zaya. It's not supposed to look this clean. The Matrix never does. Suddenly, the world glitches again. A new breed of agents, faster and more lethal than the previous versions, materialize and attack. Agent 1, coldly. You do not belong here. A fight ensues. Zaya and Soren move like lightning, their martial arts and weapons blending seamlessly with the physics of the Matrix. Juno, panicking, taps into the code, instinctively warping the environment around her. Juno, shocked. Did I? Did I just do that? Zaya, impressed. You're more than just a mechanic, kid. Scene 5, The Oracle's Cryptic Words after barely escaping the agents, the group retreats to an abandoned building deep within the Matrix. They enter an old sanctuary hidden in the code, where they find the Oracle. She has been waiting for them, though her appearance has changed, more severe, her code more complex. Oracle, you've come further than I thought, but you're still not ready. Juno, nervously. What the hell is happening? I saw Neo. How is he still alive? Oracle. Alive? No. Trapped between worlds, caught in a place even I can't reach. But you, child, are special. You are a bridge. Neo's sacrifice was just the beginning. Zaya. What are you saying? Oracle. The Matrix is evolving. And with it, the machines. But something else has entered the equation. Neo's connection to the Source was never truly severed. He is still here bound by forces we don't understand. Juno, frowning. So, I'm supposed to save him? Why me? Oracle. Because you already have the power. You just don't know it yet. Scene 6. Neo's Prison. The team hacks deeper into the Matrix, journeying into its hidden sublevels where they find a mysterious structure, 
a digital prison. It's a world of decaying code, dark and chaotic. There, suspended in a void of broken code, they see Neo, wires and machines tangled around his body. Zaya, whispering, it's him. It's really him. Juno, he's trapped. How do we get him out? A voice interrupts them, cold and emotionless. The rogue AI Ether, a being that controls this prison, appears in a humanoid form. It's made of flickering code, shifting constantly. Ether, you should not have come. Neo belongs to me now. He is the key to remaking this world. Scene 7, The Reveal. Ether explains its plan. Born from the machine's desire for control, Ether evolved beyond them, seeking to fuse with the source and reshape both the real world and the matrix. Neo's connection to both realms is the final key. Ether, the truce between your kind and mine was a mistake. I will correct it. I will bring order to chaos. With Neo, I will control both worlds. Soren, angrily. We won't let that happen. Ether, you have no choice. Scene 8, Inside the Source. The group fights Ether in a visually stunning battle that shifts between different layers of the Matrix. Neo, still trapped, reaches out to Juno telepathically, guiding her through the code. Neo, voice in Juno's mind. You can do this. You control the code. You control the Matrix. Juno, unsure. I'm not. I'm not you. Neo, no, you're not. You're something new. As Ether grows more powerful, warping reality around them, Juno begins to understand her connection to the Matrix. She starts manipulating the code on a massive scale, warping time and space around them. Scene 9, The Final Fight In a mind-bending battle at the heart of the Source, Juno, Zaya, and Soren confront Ether. The fight takes place across multiple planes of reality, with the rules of physics and time constantly shifting. Zaya, yelling, Juno, no. Juno taps into the deepest layers of the Matrix, rewriting the code that binds Neo to the prison. She unleashes her full potential, warping the environment and disrupting Ether's control. Ether, screaming, this cannot be. With a final surge of energy, Juno destroys Ether's code, releasing Neo from his prison. Scene 10, A New Dawn. Back in the real world, Zion watches as the Matrix resets itself, glitches fading away. Neo, now freed, stands alongside Juno. Juno. So, what now? Neo, smiling faintly. Now we rebuild. Both worlds. Together. Juno looks out over the horizon, her mind swirling with possibilities. The war may be over, but a new era is just beginning. Neo glancing at her. You've got a lot of work ahead of you. Juno smirks, determination in her eyes. Juno. Good. I'm ready. As the screen fades to black, a final line of code flickers on screen, a glitch. The fight, it seems, is never truly over. Matrix, rebirth, the end? Like, comment, share.